So if you look into the design of the periodic table, what you are noticing here is the periodic table more or less looks like this. That is, uh, let me put it in this way, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium. Then beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium and radium. Then scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper and zinc. If you take then uh, we can take here this is potassium is 19 atomic number calcium 20 21 scandium 22 titanium 23 vanadium 24 chromium 25 manganese 26 iron 27 cobalt 28 nickel 29 copper 30 zinc 31 is gallium 32 is germanium 33 is arsenic 34 is selenium and 35 I think uh, it's going to be that is bromine 35 is going to be bromine so what we are noticing over here is like uh, in particular rubidium 37 strontium 38 and uh, cesium 55 and barium is 56 this is 55 plus 32 87 and this is going to be 88 11 12 11 atomic number 12 atomic 3 4 and this is 1 so what we are just trying to understand here is very simple method practice always makes you perfect practice always makes you perfect in remembering the elements in the periodic table so here uh, if I just draw a horizontal line like this and if I cut off the one more horizontal line like this then I can say that all this comes under that is P block this comes under S block this comes under S block all this comes under S block this comes under D block and uh, this comes under that is P block here of course if you go for the beryllium lithium beryllium lithium beryllium then boron aluminium I think here I can take boron here I can take I can take here boron and this is aluminium likewise again I can take carbon silicon carbon silicon germanium I can take nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, boron, aluminium, gallium, indium and thallium, carbon, silicon, germanium, tin and lead, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and polonium. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine. This is bromine, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and astatin. All this comes under that is, this comes under P block. This is P block. And here boron atomic number is 5, 13, 31, 31 plus 18, 49, 49 plus 18, the 49 plus 32, 81, carbon atomic number 6, silicon 14, germanium 32, 10, 50, this is 82, 7, 15, 33, uh, 33 plus 18, 33 plus 18, I think it is 51. 51 and this is going to be 83 oxygen atomic number is 8 sulfur 16 selenium 34 34 tellurium 52 and uh, polonium 84 fluorine atomic number 9 chlorine 17 bromine 35 iodine, iodine 53 
as 1385 and so on. This comes under the pre-block. So likewise, if I am joining this order in the same pattern, in the same fashion, you are finding that here, you are finding that here, yeah, so, so scandium, scandium 38 is strontium, 39 is yttrium, 40 zirconium, 41 niobium, 41 niobium, 42 molybdenum, 43 technetium, 44 ruthenium, 45 rhodium, 46 palladium, 47 silver, 48 uh, cadmium. Here, so here you are going to get zinc, cadmium, mercury, mercury is 80, copper, silver, gold, gold is AU, 79, nickel, nickel, palladium, platinum, 78, then uh, cobalt, rhodium, uh, 77 is iridium, then iron, ruthenium, osmium, 76, 75, I think it is rhenium, rhenium, then here, yeah, 56, 57, 57 is 57 lanthanum, 57 lanthanum, 72 hafnium, 73 tantalum and 74 I think it is tungsten, tungsten. So similarly here also what we are noticing is 89 is actinium, 104 rutherfordium, 105 dubnium and so on. So it is an incomplete period and so on. So what is happening here is like uh, 75, uh, so it's 44 ruthenium, 45 rhodium, 46 palladium, 75 selenium. Yeah, I think so. This is D block. And what you're finding is like uh, this is as I told you, this is uh, 1A group alkali metals, 2A group alkali nut metals, and this is 3A group, 3A group boron family, 4A group carbon family, 5A group nitrogen family, 6A group, 6A group oxygen family. 7a group halogens and this is 1b this is 1b and this is 2b and this is 3b 4b 5b 6b this 6b and this is uh, 7b 6b uh, yeah 7b and this is together 8b and I call this as 8b I call this as transition triads I call this as transition triads the most electro positive element most electro positive most electro positive most electro positive element is cesium then uh, the lightest the lightest element is hydrogen the lightest element is hydrogen zinc cadmium and mercury zinc cadmium and mercury these are the and mercury is the only metal a liquid metal mercury is a liquid metal bromine if you take if you take bromine liquid non metal 
liquid non metal these three elements liquid metal and uh, to be these are called typical typical transition elements typical transition elements 1b if you take these are noble metals 1b noble metals sodium and potassium potassium sodium and potassium if you take particularly potassium and rubidium and cesium these three metals potassium rubidium cesium they are used in photoelectric cells s block elements are metals dominated metals dominated p block elements are both metals and non metals metals and non metals if you take d block elements if you take in particular d block they are made up of both they are metallic also they are amphoteric they are metallic as well as they are also amphoteric they are also amphoteric they are amphoteric and these are typical transition metals and uh, tungsten this is called tungsten otherwise wolfram is used as a filament in electrical bulbs electrical bulbs and so on and so forth this is a complete picture and f block elements let me finish off f block elements also if you take f block elements you can see a break here you can see a break here 57 is lanthanum i'm just highlighting here 57 is lanthanum 89 is actinium 104 is rutherfordium so you can see a big break in between this uh, two set of elements so you can take that is 58 cerium to 71 lutetium and uh, 103 lavrantium 103 sorry this is 90 thorium i'm sorry 90 thorium to 103 Lavrantium this comes under comes under a block elements 103 Lavrantium 90 thorium to 103 Lavrantium and 58 cerium to 71 lutetium comes under a block element if you like this video please give a thumbs up Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.